I will be performing an assessment to my patient who came in with wound pain and after a bowel screening and also diagnosed with small primary colorectal cancer. But first, I will make sure that the scene is safe, free from any spillages, cords, and clutters that may pose risk to me, to my patient, and others. Once the scene is safe, I will do my hand washing adhering to the five moments of hand hygiene, which is before and after touching the patient, before any aseptic procedure, after touching bodily fluids, and after touching patient surroundings. I will place a handful of product all over my hand, rub palm to palm, back of my hands with fingers interlaced, palm to palm with fingers interlaced, back of my fingers interlock, rotational rubbing of my thumbs, tips of my fingers, and rotational rubbing of my wrist. Once my hands are dry, it is now safe to approach my patient. I'll make sure to do my hand washing for 20 to 30 seconds. I will now wear my gloves. And approach my patient. Hi, good morning. My name is Belle. I'll be your nurse for today. How do you prefer to be called? Oh, you can call me Ash. Oh, Ash. Oh, what a lovely name. Are you warm enough? Um, yes, I am. That's good. Can you see and hear me clearly? Um, yes, I can see and hear That's good. Clearly. Is it alright if I close the curtains to provide you some privacy? Um, yeah, sure, please do. I'll close the curtains and do my quick hand rub. Now, I will check the name of my patient and counter checking it with the notes and also with the wristband. Ash, hello. Um, can I just quickly check your identity? Um, yeah, sure, here you go. Can you please state your full name? That's Ash Potter. Alright, and also your date of birth? Um, 1st of January, 1950. Alright, lovely. And your hospital number is C2123. Now, I can confirm that I got the right patient. Um, Ash, I could see that you are wearing a red wristband. Mm -hmm. Have you got any allergies at all? Um, yes, I'm actually allergic to um, penicillin and to beta blockers. Oh, that's the same with your notes. Uh, but don't worry, I will make sure that it will not be given to you. And what happens to you when you got those um, allergens? Um, well, for penicillin, I get rashes all over my body. Mm -hmm. But for the beta blockers, I'm extremely allergic to it. I think the doctors call it anaphylaxis, something like that. All right. That could be an anaphylactic reaction. Okay, but don't worry. Rest assured that you will be not given with these allergens. Mm -hmm. And also, all the information that you have given us will be in strictest confidentiality. Okay. And only the healthcare team will have access to it. Is yeah, that all right? That's fine with me. All right, that's good. Um, Ash, I am here today to do an assessment. Mm -hmm. So because you came in due to your wound pain, isn't it? Yes, that's good. And also your um, post-surgery. Um, you had your laparoscopic hemicolectomy. Yes, that's good. All right, how are you feeling now? All um, right? Yeah, it's still painful, but I'm still okay. All right, then. Don't worry, I'm here to do your assessment. Okay, okay. so your assessment involves your checking the observations. And also, I will... Um, do your A to E assessment. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, I will run you through it later. Okay. And also, I will ask you some questions about your activities of daily living. Is mm -hmm. that alright with you? Yeah, sure, that's fine. Is this the right time to do it? Yes, it is. Are you happy for me to do yeah, it? Yeah, sure, that's fine. That's good. Yeah. Before right. I go with your observation, can I just quickly ask you, because you came in with your wound pain, isn't mm -hmm. yeah, it? Have good. you got any pain at this time, at this moment? Um, yes, I do have. It's uh, where the surgery was done. Alright, I'm so sorry to hear about that. But how bad is your pain from 1 to 10? 10 being the most uh, painful pain. Mm, probably I'd give it a 4 out of 10 as of the moment. Mm -hmm. Or I will be taking note of that one. Um, is there anything that I could help you with that one? Can I uh, check it later on and also um, can we do some deep breathing exercise now to um, ease you with your pain? Um, yeah, sure. We could give that one okay. a try. So just um, inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth using a purse lip or just like blowing a candle. Okay. Do it a couple of times. Another yeah, I one. think it helped with the, with the pain. Alright, that's very good. Okay, now can we proceed with your observations? Yeah, sure. That's fine. I'll make sure that this equipment is calibrated and disinfected for the last 24 hours and it's safe for me to use. I will first check your blood pressure. Okay, can I roll up your sleeves? Yeah, sure, that's fine. Thank you. Have you got any surgeries on this arm? Um, on this arm, nope, no surgeries. That's good, and there's no lymph edema and also no fistula and no cannula. I will make sure that I'm gonna place the BP cuff two finger breaths above your antecubital fossa. It's covering 80% of your arm. It's snugly fit, not too loose, and not too tight that I could insert my two fingers. Are you comfortable? Uh, yes, yeah. I am. I'm just gonna make sure, are your legs uncrossed? Uh, no, it's not. Okay, can you cross it for me? Yep. Thank you. All right then. 
So as the BP cuff inflates, you may feel uh, a bit uncomfortable on the side, but don't worry if it's too painful for you, just let me know so I could stop it. Okay. Right. Thank you. And as that one is checking, I'm gonna check your temperature using a tympanic thermometer. But first, I will make sure that I'll assess your ears, mm -hmm. checking for any obstruction, any hearing aids. I can see there's not. Is that alright if I put the tympanic thermometer on? Yeah, sure, that's fine. Okay, you may hear a beeping sound. That's normal. It's just that thermometer checking your temperature. Okay. okay let me pull your pinna back and up. That's 37.1. Don't worry, it's within the normal range, all right? Let me just dispose this one in the clinical waste bin. And your blood pressure is 126 over 82. It's still within the normal range as well, all right? Let me just remove that one. I'm gonna check for your oxygen saturation. Can you just borrow one of your fingers? I can see that your hands are warm. That's very good. And also you have no false nails. Okay. Let me check your capillary feel. I'm gonna press your finger beds for five seconds and release it. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Your capillary feel is less than three seconds. Okay, it's, this finger is safe for me to use. I'm gonna put the oxygen saturation probe and let's just wait for your. Oxygen saturation. So your oxygen saturation is 98%, which is the, within the normal range as well. Okay. Right? Can I just have a minute to record your observations? Yes, sure, fine. Thank you. Let me remove that one. Thank you. Now I'm gonna continue with your observation, checking your pulse rate for a couple of minutes. Is that alright with you? Yeah, sure, that's fine. Yeah. Can you place your left hand over your tummy, please? Okay. Alright, thank you. Can I borrow this other mm -hmm. arm? Yeah, sure, okay. That's fine. Let me check your radial pulse. Let me locate it first. Alright, I'm starting to count now. Alright, all done, Ash. Thank you. Your um, pulse rate is 87, which is within normal range. That's good. And also your respiratory rate is 19. Okay. I'm sorry I didn't mention that. I'm going to check your respiratory rate so you won't be conscious about it and it will not alter the results. Okay, is that right? Fine, yeah. Thank you. Can you just give me another minute to oh, record? Yeah, sure, that's fine. Um, Ash, I'm already done with computing your new score. Okay. Your new score is zero. Okay. So I will be monitoring you every 12 hours or um, sooner if your clinical condition changes or your observation changes. All okay. right? Yeah. Thank you. Um, assessor, the new score of Ash is zero. Now let me continue with my A to E assessment. Okay. Is that all right? Yeah, sure. That's fine. All right. So with your A to E assessment, with your airway, that's um that's good. Um, you're talking in full sentences, mm -hmm. which means there is no um, visible signs that there's any obstruction. Okay. And also with your breathing, I already checked your respiratory rate earlier, so that's at um, 19, so it's within the normal range. Mm -hmm. And also your oxygen saturation is within normal range as well. Okay, I already checked it by looking with the rise and fall of the chest, and there's no use of any accessory muscle. Mm -hmm. No, also CISO breathing, okay. and also no abdominal breathing. Okay. All right, and then with your circulation, that's for the C, I already checked um, your pulse rate, which is within normal range as well. Mm -hmm. um, your pulse is also in regular rate and rhythm. And also, I have checked your capillary refill time, which is um, less than three seconds earlier. Okay. So that's within normal range as well. And also, your blood pressure again is 126 over 82, mm -hmm. which is within normal range. All right, okay. so your circulation is good. And with the D is for your disability, 
you're very much alert mm -hmm. and, and also as you mentioned earlier you got pain yes um it's where the incision was made all right then um i'll take note of that one and then with the exposure no high temperature at all and also um we have to check as well your wound if there's any presence of um bleeding okay. all right and have you got any rashes or bruise on the covered um, parts of your body? Uh, no, I haven't noticed any. Alright, that's very good. Okay, and then now let's proceed with your activities of daily living. Is that alright? Okay. Yeah, sure, that's fine. Alright, um, do you have any medications that you are regularly taking? Um, yes, uh, I think that is um, Ramipril. It was prescribed by my GP. Alright, is that um, that medication is to um, keep your blood pressure at bay, mm -hmm. so it, which is good. Are you taking um, it regularly? Oh, um, no, not really. Sometimes I forget when to take it. Alright, um, will that be helpful if I put it on a list with a um, time on it or should we um, give an alert on or alarm on your phone? Will that um, be helpful for yeah, you? Yeah, I think that will be helpful. Okay, let's see. do that later, mm -hmm. okay? And how about um i can see on your table are all this um yours um yeah most of it are mine okay um i can see there's some um, pack of cigarettes in there are those yours um that actually belongs to my brother uh, okay so um that's good that you're not smoking mm -hmm. but um we have a strict um hospital policy about smoking mm -hmm. but i need to remove it for now should i put it on the cupboard or give it back to your brother um just give it back to my brother will be all right so let me grab this for now and i'll give it to your brother all right and how how's your um eating habits i could see there's um, a bit of sweets in there yeah uh, i don't think that there's a problem with it i mm -hmm. do three, uh, eat three times a day it's just that um i do uh, eat a lot of um sugary treats and that's oh. why i've got some chocolates in there right. oh you're sweet too then mm -hmm. <laughs> all right um th that will be fine as long as um you keep a balanced diet with mm -hmm. good parts of um vegetables and also mix of fruits and mm -hmm. meats as well because that will be very helpful as your um, wound is healing at the moment okay all right okay and also um i have to refer you to the tissue viability nurse because of mm -hmm. the problem with your wound as of the moment okay. um with your consent would you love that one um yes please that will be okay, okay i will um I'll let them know and also will uh, have the schedule sorted for you okay. all right thank you okay um is there anything else that i could help you with um no i don't think so thank you so much ash for your participation it's a very good assessment you are very cooperative okay. so i will place the call bell here right mm -hmm. beside you just press the button if you need anything and we'll be happy to assist you okay all right okay. thank you and have a good day you too all right. so that ends my assessment now i will do my final documentation and final hand washing and i will make sure that i will discard my apron and gloves in the clinical waste bin